at all times. I will bless the Lord at all times. Somebody shout, with my mouth will I declare the name of the Lord. With my mouth will I declare the name of the Lord. My testimony we are found every day. My testimony we are found every day. Oh! 
sustenance. Thank you for your loving kindness. Thank you for your mercy. Thank you for the gift of life. I really appreciate you. Lift up your two hands to him and let's thank God for what he did on Friday. That was awesome. Go ahead and appreciate our maker. Go ahead and thank him for the word he sent to us on Friday. Go ahead and thank him for the way he took control the crowd. Go ahead and just say, Lord, we thank you. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate our father. Appreciate our maker. Appreciate our husband. Go ahead and appreciate him. Thank you. Thank you, Father.
In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Isaiah chapter 14, verse number 3. Isaiah 14, verse 3 says, And it shall come to pass in the day that the Lord shall give you rest from thy sorrow, from thy fear, and from the hard bondage wherein thou was made to serve. There is somebody here this morning whose amen can roar like thunder. God will give you rest. Rest from above. God will bestow it upon you. Lift up your voice and say, Father, I have come to meet with you this morning. I need rest. Rest from above. Go ahead and talk to God if you indeed need rest. Go ahead. Lord, rest. Rest. Lord, I need rest. Father, I need rest. Rest. Rest from above. Be stole upon me now. Lord, I need rest. I need rest. I need rest. I need rest. Thank you, Father. Glory be to your name, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Motito nisimi. Motito nisimi. Ara tito demio. Ogwa ye mi ewa bigba. Motito nisimi. Sobe. Motito nisimi. Motito nisimi. Ara tito demio. Let me hear you again. But he told me, see me. But he told me, see me. I got it to them. You know, oh, why, me, lift up your voice and say, Father, give me rest from my sorrow. Every sorrow in my life. Every sorrow in my home. Father, give me rest. Lift up your voice and talk to God. It is time for me to have rest. The time has come for me to have rest. Lord, give me rest. Rest from every sorrow. My poster that I am Lord, give me rest. 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 Lord, give me rest. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Join your hand with somebody that can pray for you and say, Father. Loud and clear, say, Father. By the power that makes you the Almighty, give your son rest from his fear. Your word says you have not given all the spirit of, of bondage of, of bondage to fear. But you have given us the spirit of power, of love, and of a sound mind. Lord, give your son rest from fear. Fear. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Lift up your voice and pray for that Lord. Say, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, give your daughter rest from every hard bondage. Oh, yeah, go ahead and talk to God. Bondage of life. Lord Jesus, give your daughter rest. Lord, rest from hard bondage. Rest from every fruitless effort. Lord, give your son, your daughter, rest from sickness. Rest. 
Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Lastly, you will lift up your voice. Bible says, come unto me. All that are heavy laden. What did he say we do? I will give you rest. I join my faith with your faith. If you can shout amen. Before you step out of here. God will give you rest. In the name of Jesus. Pray for your, your neighbor. And say my father. Loud and clear. Say my father. Your son is here this morning. Give him rest from above. Go ahead and talk to God. Your son is here. Lord, rest of salvation, give it to him. Lord of us, rest from fear, give it to him. Rest from hard bondage, give it to him. Rest from Satan, Baba gave on to him. Give your son rest this morning. Rest from above. Rest from above. Rest from above. Rest from above. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. If your amen can agree with me, before you step out, men and women will celebrate your rest. Praise the Lord. If you have any testimony, a pastor is waiting behind the pastor, minister's altar to listen to such testimony so that during the course of the service, you will have the opportunity to share it with the congregation. If you have any testimony, the time to see the pastor behind the minister's altar is now. Our hymn for this morning's service is on page 22 and it's hymn number 48 hymn 48 on page 22 we shall take the hymn standing the choir will lead us
Almighty God, we continually display his great faithfulness in all our lives in the name of Jesus. Please be seated and listen to the choir.
let's lift our hands to the most high God and begin to bless his holy name. Let's give him glory. Let's give him honor. Let's give him adoration. Let's bless the King of kings, the Lord of lords, the ancient of days. Let us worship him. Let us adore him. Bless him. Give him glory for all he's done for you since the beginning of the year. Magnify his holy name. Oh, yes, we we'll bless your name, Lord. We we'll give you all the glory, all the honor, all the adoration. We praise you, Lord. We praise you, Lord. We praise you, Lord. We, we just want to magnify your holy name. And we say, be glorified forever, O Lord. Be glorified forever, O Lord. Glorified forever, O Lord. Be glorified forever, O Lord. Be glorified forever, O Lord. We be glorified forever, O Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, ancient of days. Thank you for your love, for your compassion, for your goodness. Thank you. 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 Hallelujah. We worship you. We magnify your holy name. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. In Jesus' mighty name, we worship. Amen. Now lift your voice to him and say, Father, Father before this year ends, this year. let all my sorrows be forgotten. Sorrows. Open your mouth and talk to the almighty God. Father, before this year ends, let all my sorrows be forgotten, all my problems, all my aches, all my pains, all my failures, all my difficulties. Let all my sorrows be forgotten, completely forgotten, Lord. Almighty God, let all my problems be absolutely forgotten. Absolutely forgotten. Absolutely forgotten. Almighty God, let all our problems be gone. Be gone. Be gone. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Then let's pray for all the firstborns that are here, that the purpose of God for their lives may be fulfilled. Amen. So lift your voice to him and say, Father, Father, we commit all firstborns into your hands. Your purpose for their lives, fulfill, O oh Lord. Go ahead, talk to the Almighty God. We commit all the firstborns here into your hands. Every firstborn, Lord. Yet let your purpose for their lives be fulfilled. 
Make them number one, let them be one. Let them be number one. Let them, let them, let them be number one. You make them the head, let them be head. Don't let them become tail. Let your purpose for their lives be fulfilled. Let your purpose for their lives be fulfilled. Thank you, Father. Yes, Lord, fulfill your purpose in the life of all the firstborns here, Lord. Fulfill your purpose. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Now, I want you to lift your voice to the Almighty God and say, Father. Any evil left in this old year, keep far away from my family. Go ahead, talk to the Almighty. Any accidents, any death, any evil, any sorrow, any calamities, any tragedies left in this old year, Father, keep far away from my home far away from my family, far away from your church, please far away from Nigeria, keep every evil that is left in this old year far away from us, that your name and your name alone may be glorified. Thank you. Jesus, mighty name, we are praying. And then you say, Father, every blessing left in this old year, send to my family. Go ahead, talk to the Almighty God. Every blessing, Lord, every breakthrough, every miracle, sign, and wonder that my seed be left in this old year. Direct them to my family, Lord. Direct them to my family. Direct them to my family. To the glory of your holy name. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Glory be to God in the highest name. Hallelujah. Glory be to God in the highest name. For his mercy. Forever. 
days, the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the ending. Thank you. Thank you for January. Thank you for February. Thank you for March. Thank you for April. Thank you for May. Thank you for June. Thank you for July. Thank you for August. Amen. Okay. Shake hands with one or two people and say good morning. God bless you. Revelation chapter 7. I will read from verse 4 to 8. Revelation 7, from 4 to 8. While you are opening your Bibles, let me encourage you to do everything within your power to attend the Congress coming up in December. This one is not going to be an ordinary Congress at all. Uh, it's a Congress of complete restoration. <laughs> Beginning from the very first day to the last, I can assure you this one Congress that by the time it is over, you will be weeping for joy. So begin to tell your friends, relatives, and co-workers, beginning from now. And this is not a congress you say you want to attend on Friday alone. From Monday, when God says complete, it means complete. Uh, I'm even believing God for some of you, long before then, you will have your testimonies. <laughs> now Revelation chapter 7. Four to eight. And I had the number of them which were sealed. And there were sealed an hundred and forty and four thousand of all the tribe of the children of Israel. Of the tribe of Judah were sealed twelve thousand. Of the tribe of Reuben were sealed twelve thousand. Of the tribe of Gad were sealed twelve thousand. Of the tribe of Asa were sealed 12,000. Of the tribe of Nephthali were sealed 12,000. Of the tribe of Manasseh were sealed 12,000. Of the tribe of Simeon were sealed 12,000. Of the tribe of Levi were sealed 12,000. Of the tribe of Issachar were sealed 12,000. Of the tribe of Zabulon were sealed 12,000. Of the tribe of Joseph were sealed 12,000. Of the tribe of Benjamin were sealed 12,000. I'm sure by now you'll be saying, oh, what has this got to do with firstborn? Uh, if we just take a close look at verse 5, for example, he started by saying of the tribe of Judah were sealed 12,000. Before he said of the tribe of Reuben were sealed 12,000. Reuben was the firstborn. How come now that his name has dropped to number two? So take note of that. We'll talk about that maybe a little bit later on. Then you go to verse six. And you see, of the tribe of Asher were sealed 12,000. Of the tribe of Nephtali were sealed 12,000. Of the tribe of Manasseh were sealed 12,000. Manasseh? Manasseh is the son of Joseph. And here they are mentioning his name before they mention the name of his father, way, way down in number eight. Because it's I mean, verse 8. In verse 8, we have the tribe of Zabulon were sealed 12,000. Of the tribe of Joseph were sealed 12,000. Of the tribe of Benjamin were sealed 12,000. You see that certain things are here that will require some understanding. And 
I don't have the time to do a thorough Bible study, but I will do my best within the limited time. The firstborn, every firstborn is a special person. So if you are firstborn, congratulations, you are special. Special also can mean problems. Being special can create some serious problems. For example, Satan hates firstborns with a passion. If you're looking for people that Satan really, 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 really hates, we're talking of the firstborn. Why? Oh, because of Genesis chapter 3, verse 14 to 15. Genesis 3, 14 to 15. When God said to Satan, all right, you've done this thing. I'm going to create a problem between you and the woman. I see it is going to bruise your head. It is the seed of the woman that is going to destroy your head, oh Satan. Satan said, is that so? Uh, well, I wait for that seed to come. And so the moment Cain came, he said, aha, this is the fellow who is going to bruise my head. Before he landed, he has taken him over. That's why in Genesis chapter 4, verse 3 to 12, Genesis 4, 3 to 12, we found that uh, Cain became the first murderer on record. And he knows if you, you are a murderer, God can no longer use you. And when you get to Genesis 49, verse 1 to 4, Genesis 49, verse 1 to 4, you see what happened to Reuben, the firstborn of uh, uh, Jacob. He just made sure that he got that boy to do something wrong so that when his father was about to die, the father pronounced a curse on him. And so you can go through the scriptures and you find firstborn getting into serious trouble after serious trouble because Satan hates them. Because they are special. The good news for firstborn, however, is that why Satan hates you passionately, God loves you passionately. That is the good news. I mean, God loves firstborn so much that he's ready to kill to protect them. So if you're a firstborn, congratulations. In Exodus chapter 4, verse 22 to 23, Exodus 4, 22 to 23, God said to Moses, tell Pharaoh, tell him Israel is my firstborn. Let my son go so that he may serve me. And if you will not let him go, I will kill your son. So all those who hate you, those of you who are firstborn, they are in trouble. Because God will deal with them himself. That's what he said. If there's anyone trying to slow down a firstborn, that fellow is asking for trouble. God said, let my firstborn go. If you don't, I will kill your firstborn. And you know the story. When after all manners of uh, miracles and signs, Pharaoh said, no, Israel would not go. God said, all right, kill all the firstborn in Egypt. Now, after that one, Pharaoh said, all right, you can go. I have good news for those of you who are firstborn. All those who have been blocking your way before the end of this year, they will be forgotten.
the plan of God for firstborn is that they get the greater blessing. Uh, if you read Genesis 48, verse 8 to 20, Genesis 48, verse 8 to 20, you will discover that when God wants to bless firstborn, he lays right hand on them. Others, left hand. Because somehow the blessing of the right hand is double that of the left. I rejoice with those of you who are firstborn. Congratulations. Yeah. And when God says, this fellow is my firstborn on his own, he will cancel curses that may be pronounced on firstborn. Like I said, I don't have all the time, but you, you, you already know the story of Levi. The father calls Levi and says, hey, you are going to be scattered. The Almighty God said, no, I've chosen Levi to be my firstborn. So instead of scattering him, withdraw him, no, close to myself. Now, I think uh, if, if you are in this kind of service, you should be paying attention to the word of God, not taking pictures should be serious because destiny is involved at what we are saying now you should, you should pay close attention so when God says the firstborn is mine that's a very serious statement in other words he is saying to parents you may be the one who brought them forward but they actually belong to me. Uh, God said they are mine. If you study your Bible, you'll find that he, he even included the firstborn of animals, not just human beings. That is why when a man has a firstborn, it must be done as urgently as possible for that man to redeem the firstborn. In other words, he will say to God, thank you for giving me this boy, I give him back to you. And giving back to him means you conduct a service, maybe like this one, and all firstborn, the parents of all the firstborn will give something to God in redemption of their firstborn. If you study the scriptures, God said that when your animal gives birth to a firstborn, that firstborn of the animal belongs to God. And he said, you must give it to him. And our parents who didn't even read the Bible, they had it in their custom. When you have friends and you are thinking of how to prosper them, then you take an animal, a goat, or a sheep, and you give it to the fellow and say, take care of that. And as he's taking care of that, the animal will grow and then become pregnant. The first born of that animal, the first, that your friend will bring it back to you. After that, you can then begin to enjoy. The, but the first fruit belongs to the owner. The first fruit belongs to God. Now, occasionally, there are some people who don't know the value of what they have. And so they toy with the fact that they are firstborn. When they do that, it displeases God tremendously. For example, Genesis 25, verse 29 to 34. Genesis 25, 29 to 34. Esau said to his brother, give me food, I'm hungry. The brother said, you want my food? He said, yes. Said, okay, then give me your fat right. You are the firstborn, let us exchange. Let me become firstborn, you become secondborn. And Esau said, what does it matter? I'm hungry, my friend, give me food. You want to be firstborn, eh, be firstborn. 
the benefits of the firstborn is so tremendous that when God sees somebody toying with it, it displeases him mightily. Everything he touched, just, he just kept on prospering. He became ten times more prosperous than his brother. And then Ephraim began to do what he liked. God would say, Ephraim, let, do this for me. Say, hey, leave me alone, I'm enjoying myself. Ephraim, I want you to come with me to work. Hey, I can't leave my sheep. I can't leave my goat. After some time, God finally said, all right. Ephraim has decided to join himself to idols, leave him alone. But then God said, Ephraim shall be desolate. He said, I'm the one who prospered you. You have forgotten me. I will reduce you to nothing. The Manasseh who was transferred to position number two, God went and picked him up and said, sorry, Joe, Manasseh. After all, you are my firstborn. I will promote you. And God promoted him far, far beyond Joseph, his father. That's why I read that passage to you. Your special firstborn, watch it. Because you are special, God will take care of you. Because you are special, God will fight for you. Because you are special, anybody who tries to attack you will deal with God. But be careful. God is watching out for how you react, how you relate to him. Every firstborn has no reason not to shine. The, the, the support from heaven for firstborn is such that firstborn are supposed to shine. But if the firstborn will refuse to do the will of God, he will be replaced. For example, like Judah, was number four. But the Almighty God promoted him and made him number one. Genesis chapter 49. Genesis chapter 49. Uh, reading from verse seven. <clears throat> Judah, you are the one that your brothers will praise. He, was, uh, he wasn't anywhere near number one. David was number eight. God promoted him and made him number one. He made him king. Why? Because David had said, I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. Uh, Elisha. Elisha wasn't even the son of Elijah. But the Almighty God just chose him and said, all right, this boy, I want him to be the firstborn of Elijah because Elijah was never married. So God gave him a son. So when Elijah was about to leave, Elijah said, well, God has made me your firstborn and the benefits for the firstborn is the double portion. So I want the double portion. Do you know that if you make up your mind that you are going to serve God, with everything within your power as a firstborn. Within the next one year, and you can write it down, within the next one year, people will ask you, why are you succeeding so much? And you will tell them, don't you know I am a firstborn? That will be your testimony. Conclusion is simple. He chose you to be number one. He will defend you to be number one. He will cancel curses on you to be number one. He will open the windows of heaven over you to be number one. 
and will you do his will? Will you do all his will? Let's stand on our feet. If there are people here, and you know that the almighty God who made you firstborn wants you to be near to him, and you have not yet surrendered your life to him, you better come now. If you are a firstborn, and the Almighty God Himself brought you here this morning to hear this word, and you know you are far from God, but you want to surrender your life to Him so that His purpose for your life may be fulfilled. Come and give your life to Jesus now. And even if you are not firstborn, and you know God can pick anybody from number three, number seven, number eight, and make Him a firstborn, if you surrender to Him, you better come and surrender your life to Jesus Christ now. I'm going to count from one to five. Before five, you better come and stand before me so I can pray for your salvation. I'm counting now. One. Two. Thank you, Father. Three. Oh, blessed are the firstborn that are in Christ. Glory, glory, glory to God. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. God loves you and he wants to do everything to protect you as a firstborn. But you need to surrender to him. You need to surrender to him. You need to surrender to him. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Hurry up. Hurry up. Thank you, Father. Four. Keep coming, keep coming, keep coming. Keep coming. Keep coming. I think you can move a little closer forward. Move forward so as I give room for the people behind you. Move forward, move forward, move forward. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Oh, glory be to God. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Thank you, Father. Oh, my Lord and my Savior. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, keep coming, keep coming, keep coming. I wait five seconds more. Keep coming, keep coming. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Just keep coming. Keep coming. Make sure you get here before I finish praying. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Keep coming. Keep coming. This is your day. This is your day. Very special day for you. Thank you, Father. Amen. Now, those of you who are already in front and the few of you see on the way, talk to God. Tell him, I've come to surrender my life to you. Uh, you, has, you made me special, and I want to surrender to you completely. Save my soul. Forgive all my sins, and I will do your will for the rest of my life. And the rest of us, let's stretch our hands towards our brothers and sisters, and intercede for them, that the almighty God who saved our souls will save their own souls also. Pray for them, brethren. Pray for every one of them. Pray that God will look down from heaven in mercy today and save the souls of these people and give them genuine salvation so that they will have a brand new beginning, a brand new beginning. 
pray for them, brethren. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Savior, I just want to bless your holy name. I want to thank you for your word. I want to thank you for these people who have come forward to surrender their lives to you. Please accept our thanks in Jesus' name. Amen. But uh, please remember your promise that whosoever will come unto you, you will know wise cast out. They have come to you now, Father. Please receive them. Amen. Have mercy on them. Amen. Whatever sins they have committed in the past, forgive today, Lord. Amen. Save their souls. Amen. Write their names in the book of life. Amen. And from now on, whenever they call on you, answer them by fire. Amen. And I pray that they will serve you for the rest of their lives. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Amen. I rejoice with those of you who have come forward. I want to assure you that from now on, by the grace of God, I'll be praying for you. So they are going to give you cards to fill, your name, your address, your prayer request. And I promise you I'll be praying for you. But... I want you to say where you are now because we want to pray one very serious prayer and I want you to be part of it. The rest of us, are we ready to pray? Yes. Now lift your voice to the Almighty God and say, Father, Father all the blessings of the firstborn, the of the firstborn give, unto give unto me. Go ahead, talk to the Almighty God. All the blessings of the firstborn the special protection, the double portion of anointing, all the blessings of the firstborn. Father, give unto me, give unto me, give unto me. All the blessings of the firstborn, give unto me, O oh Lord. the blessings of the firstborn give unto me Lord. all the blessing the joy the anointing, the favor the prosperity Lord the healing let the blessings be given unto me Father let it be so let it be Lord in Jesus most mighty name will pray. Amen. King of glory, we are grateful to you. Thank you for release the word of God to us the way you have done. Thank you for opening the word of God to us, even in those passages where it is least likely. We say thank you to you. Thank you for the wisdom of God, the anointing of God, 
that brought to light the lessons, the outstanding blessings in the word of God. We pray, oh God, that the blessing pronounced by our choice that in the Lord will be permanent in the name of Jesus. The prayer we are praying from our own mouth, the Lord that hear and answer. Answer us instanter in the name of Jesus Christ. We pray for our Father in the Lord that you have used and you are still using. We ask that his strength will not be abated. As he advances in age, good health, radiant health, anointing. Let all this continually be on the increase in the name of Jesus Christ. Everyone that say amen, you will get double blessing. Father God, all of us, including the people who are surrendering, who have surrendered their life, and in the kingdom of the righteous, we will not be found missing in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father God. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Please, you sit down. Let the, the choir give us soft music as our brother and sister feel the form that they need to feel. We do mention in the morning, if you come to this service, you didn't receive impartation, you have only got half of the blessing. To be raised and adored, you alone are worthy, Lord. To be raised and adored, you've been faithful, Lord. You've been faithful, Lord. From the ages past, that is why you are. What a marvelous God, what a glorious God, He has done marvelous things for me. What a powerful God, what an excellent, He's still doing marvelous things in my life. What about you? What a marvelous God, what a glorious God, He has done marvelous things for me. What a marvelous God, what a glorious God, He has done marvelous things for me. What a powerful God, what an excellence, He's still doing wonderful things in my life. Hallelujah! What a marvelous God, what a glorious God, He has done marvelous things for me. He has done it again and again. the things he has done for me what my father cannot do what my brothers cannot do he has done it again and again 
of food in the storehouse. So to my right, that's where the minister will cast their tithe. And to my left, that's where the congregation will cast their tithe. The box on my, on my left is for the congregation. The one on my right is for the minister. And we have the boxes, the offering bags of offering boxes on the ice. So just walk near the offering box or box or box or boxes near to you and drop your offering. Quiet, please. You are mighty. You are mighty. Se be ile foju orun sa sobora Se be ile soju orun sa sobora Olorun wa ba ye o ni wa mighty o Ha 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 ti jo o pe o he
today is the day of Thanksgiving. We will still dance. Father Eternal, we thank you for the people of God that have cast their tithe and all the people that have given their offering. We ask, oh God, because they have done this as you promised. Open windows in heaven in the name of Jesus Christ. We ask that the rest of the money in your hand you will enjoy it. Money will not become sorrowful in your hand. Everywhere you face, God of heaven will bless you in a multidimensional way in the name of Jesus. You will not only have money in Naira, you will have them in major currencies of the world. Everyone who have cast their offering from now henceforth, no, there will not be any lack in your life in the name of Jesus. And in the kingdom of the righteous, we will not be found missing. As a token of what you have done today, we pray that every sickness, sorrow, failure, disease, hardship, calamity, they are banished from your life in the name of Jesus. They are banished from your family in the name of Jesus. And the grace of God that make prosper, the power of God that give prosperity, we operate upon your life upon your ministry and upon your businesses. So shall it be. In Jesus mighty name we pray. Oh yeah ka dupe. Oh yeah ka dupe. Oh yeah ka dupe. Oh yeah ka dupe. Arason. Atebu fe. Iti ta ko pe wa no. Oh yeah ka dupe. Oh yeah ka dupe. Oh yeah ka dupe. appreciate you and celebrate with you uh, right hallelujah let's clap for the lord just take your bag your bag your bible come straight to the altar you are worshiping with us here for the first time this is your first time in this auditorium just take your bag and come we like to pray with you we like to take your details we'd like to give your prayer request to our daddy the lord
intercede with you. But if there are any of us who are members of Redeemed Christian Church of God, let me see your hand. Let me see your hand. After the prayer, you go back to your seat. Let our visitors uh, we'll go to our hospitality lounge that we are going to attend to them. Those who are already visitors. You, this is your own house and this has become your house too as visitors. I want us to stand up and stretch our hands towards these people of God that from today every invisible shadow that has been standing between them and greatness let those shadows disappear completely and let the unblemished blessing that have been pronounced upon their life begin to manifest no more shadow of darkness over their life no more invisible forces keeping them in one spot. No more forces of hindrance. From today, there will be unlimited upward movement, forward movement. Open your mouth and pray for them. No more limitation. No more stronghold. No more darkness. Every invisible shadow that is working against their labor, their effort, their destiny, the purpose of God in their life, they will be completely eliminated. Thank you, Father. Blessed be your name. In Jesus' powerful name, we have prayed. So shall be the name of God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. No more invisible forces holding you back. No more chain or limitation. No more stronghold on your life. Amen. No more cause. There shall be unlimited blessing. In Jesus' name. Don't forget there will be impartation after the service at the back. There's a small building at the back of the auditorium. You go there, anointing will be anointing will be come upon you, will be given unto you. Your head shall be anointed with oil. Now, if you are members of the church, take go back to your seat. But our visitors, look at our sister with the Bible. Just follow her. There you will receive your own impartation. Just go with them with your bag. You let's clap for the Lord. Members of the church. Throne of grace beyond is a place of grace for me. I come worthy to receive that. Throne of grace. Throne of grace beyond is a place of grace for us. We come worthy to receive that. Throne of grace. Throne of grace beyond is a place of grace for me. I come worthy to receive that. Throne of grace. Throne of grace beyond is a place of grace for us. Hallelujah. Let's appreciate our first timer. The Lord will establish you in Jesus' name. It's time for Thanksgiving. And the first group of people that should give thanks should be the firstborn. The firstborn in the house. Shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. In fact, so we are as many as this. For the mere fact that our daddy told us that we are special to God. He preserves us specially. He blesses us specially. So we need to give thanks to God. And then if you are celebrating your birthday, if you have just got married, 
if you want to dedicate your baby, we are going to rejoice together with all the first timer like myself in the house. And uh, you know, our Thanksgiving is once in a month, every first Sunday like this. But I believe that this Sunday is for first uh, born in the house. And there's a special song I want us to sing. The choir will help us. It says, Oluwa, Agbe Oga O. Oluwa, Agbe Oga O. Amarun. Amarun ba wa nyeo. Heavens are rejoicing on us as first timers and for those who have special Thanksgiving. Choir. <laughs> Nigeria and in everything that concerns us, 
Father, I will say thank you in the mighty name of Jesus. It's a long journey from January to November. But we are alive today. We are alive. Oh, Father, we are alive. We have not been consumed. All the plans of devil rule over us. You forfeited them all. Father, I will say thank you. Lord, Father, I will say thank you. Everlasting Father, I will say thank you. Bishop of our soul, we say thank you. Father, we say thank you. For everything you've done, we say thank you. There have been recession in Nigeria. Father, there is no recession in our families. Father, thank you. We have food to eat. We go out and come in. We sleep, we wake up. All sickness and disease, you've taken them away from us. Father, we say thank you. Our business are prospering. Our life is flourishing. Father, I will say thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Over the children, I will say thank you. Over all the babies that are born to us in all our maternities, we will say thank you. Over all the children of our homes and our churches, we will say thank you. Over the youths and the, and the, uh, and the kindergarten, we will say thank you. Over the young adults, we will say thank you. Over the old adults, we say thank you. Over the males, we say thank you. Over the, the, uh, the females, we say thank you. Over all the ministers and workers in your churches, we say thank you. Father, we say thank you. This is the 11th month. Father, we say thank you. Father, we say thank you. You that kept us up to today, you are able to keep us to the end of the month. And even beyond, Father, we say thank you. We hand over ourselves to you. Babies that are presented to you, Father Lord, receive them in your grace in the mighty name of Jesus. People who are celebrating one thing or the other, where you glorify yourself in their life, Father Lord, we say thank you. Father, people who have been sick and you healed, Father, we say thank you. Souls delivered, we say thank you. Oh, Father, promotion in our businesses and, and so on, we say thank you. Lord God, you are great. You are mighty. You are mighty in our lives. You are not mighty in everything we do. Therefore, we just want to say thank you. Thank you. Father, thank you. thank you. On behalf of the church, we say thank you. Thank you. On behalf of our Father and Mother and the Lord, we say thank you. Thank you. On behalf of all the ministers of the Lord, we say thank you. Thank you. On behalf of all the ministers of fish, uh, uh, mission field, we say thank you. Thank you. Father, there's nothing else we can say other than say thank you. Thank you, Abba. The rest of the, of the, of the month of November up to December, Baba, keep us safe. Yeah. Father, keep us safe. Yeah. Lord God of all, keep us safe. Yeah. Fight for us in the Nigeria in the mighty name of Jesus. Let peace return. Let happiness return. Let joy return. Let us live in abundance. Father, we say thank you for everything. For your people who are here, Lord, Father, Lord, accept their praises, accept their offerings, and accept them themselves in the mighty name of Jesus. In your kingdom, Father, we say, well, let us be able to sleep with you. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. You will now personalize that song as you are going to your seat. Oluwa mo gbe oga o amo orun nba mi yin o o pe ese haleluya oluwa mo gbe oga o oluwa mo gbe oga o amo orun nba mi yo o pe ese amo orun nba mi yo o pe ese oluwa o oluwa mo gbe oga o
children are coming for their Thanksgiving. Oh, you are my young ago. Father, we want you to answer their prayer this month. 
Father, do so in the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, everlasting Father. In your kingdom, Father, count us to reign with you. In Jesus' name we pray. In the morning when I wake up, I will sing my praise unto you, my God. I will shout, I will dance to you. You have been my help forever and ever. and appreciate God. leaders of the church, the strength of the church, we commit them into thy able hand, Father. Please envelop them in your hand. Empower your children. 
strengthen your children, encourage your children, direct them, Lord, lead them, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. You are the source of strength, as the source of wisdom. And so, Father, I pray, the Lord, in all their undertaking, in life, please, grant them wisdom. Let them be the number one in everything they do in the name of Jesus. Let them not lack wisdom in the name of Jesus. Make them to be a problem solvers in the name of Jesus. And we ask Almighty God that you will build a head wall of protection upon your children in the name of Jesus. We ask for life insurance. Don't let any of them die, young father. Let them live to declare to their works in the name of Jesus. We ask for accident assurance. The father in the undertaking. Don't let any of them be involved in accident in Jesus' name. Continue to protect them in the name of Jesus. Deliver them from the hands of the enemy. And above all, we pray. The father, none of them will be a prey in the hand of the enemy in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, you will live long. You will live to declare to the works of the Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus. And I pray that the power for your children to live above reproach all the days of their life. Father, give to them in the name of Jesus. Give to them in the name of Jesus. Don't let any of them bring shame to your church in the name of Jesus. And don't let them be a thorn in the flesh of their parents in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. One thing we pray, O oh God, that Lord, at the end of the day, let all, each and every one of us, see you in your kingdom in the name of Jesus. Thank you, blessed Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Praise the Lord. Generation unstoppable. Generation unstoppable. Generation unstoppable. of the ministers and then if you have not dropped your thanksgiving offering maybe you are not among the firstborn and you have not given any special thanksgiving you are not a youth it is your turn ministers and the general house will be doing it at the same time we do it simultaneously god bless you choir Alaluwa de boye o mo se ba Alaluwa kinda yo mi mo se ba Mo se ba tori en gbadura Alaluwa de boye o Alaluwa de boye o mo se ba Aye raye Olorun a de boye o mo se ba O se ba tori agbadura Olorun a de boye o mo se ba Olorun a kin da yo mi mo se ba Mo se ba tori a de boye Olorun a de boye o mo se ba Mo se ba de
Somebody shout hallelujah. Can we please be on our feet when we say the final prayer? Our eternal Father, we glorify your holy name. King of kings, Lord of lords, ancient of days, the Holy One of Israel, we give you praise. We give you worship. We give you adoration. We give you majesty, O oh Lord. We recognize your excellency and we say thank you. Father, thank you. You are the creator of heaven and earth. You are the possessor of heaven. O oh Lord, we thank you. Thank you for keeping us alive. Thank you for sustaining us. Thank you, O oh God. Because our well-being is your concern. That is why you have brought us here this day. To appreciate you. To thank you. Lord of heaven. Accept our praises and worship in the mighty name of Jesus. For everything that you have done for us so far. We can say he that thou has thou helped us. January, February, March. April, May, June, July, August, September, October, and now November. Accept our worship in the mighty name of Jesus. We thank you for the great opportunity that you have granted to everyone and each of us. The firstborns, male and female, young and old, and every congregation of yours, O oh God, the congregation of the or oh, and the company of the minister of God, right from our Father in the Lord down to our mother in Israel and our entire family. We thank you for your anointing upon our life. We thank you for strength, O oh God. We thank you for encouragement. Please accept our thanks in the mighty name of Jesus. We have danced. We have given our thanks. We have given our offering. All that we are saying is, oh God, accept our praises in Jesus' mighty name. Accept our thanks in the mighty name of Jesus. Accept our dancing and clamping in the mighty name of Jesus. And the blessing that you have showered onto our lives through our Father in the Lord, let it come to pass in the mighty name of Jesus. Beginning from now to the end of this year, bless us in the morning. Bless us in the afternoon. Bless us in the evening. Bless us in the midnight. Every moment, every, every moment, every second, every day, every, every week that remain in this year, let it be for the manifestation of your great love in our individual and several lives in the mighty name of Jesus. As we have said it earlier on, that to keep away all evil that re remain in this particular year, keep it far, far away from us in the mighty name of Jesus. And all the blessings that remain in this old year, send it to us, send them to us, in the mighty name of Jesus, almighty and everlasting God, let the glory of our latter house for this year be far, far greater than the former in the mighty name of Jesus. Continue to energize us. Continue to empower us. Continue to uh, strengthen us, even in the inner mind, in the mighty name of Jesus. That in your mighty name, this year will not finish us. Everyone and each of us, we will finish the year. And you will take us gloriously to year 2017. In the mighty name of Jesus, our joy will never diminish. 
Our strength will not diminish. Oh Lord, let it be so in the mighty name of Jesus. As we shall be going to our different homes now, may your grace and mercy, oh and goodness, and your divine people follow us home in the mighty name of Jesus. And in your kingdom, where we shall gather to part no more, we pray by the reason of today's thanksgiving, oh God, count us worthy to reign with you in the mighty name of Jesus. That none of us, none of us, no, no member of our family will be found wanting in your kingdom, in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. Father, we bless you. Jesus, we acknowledge your goodness in our life. Oh Lord, forever, let your name continue to be glorified in our lives, in our home, in everything we lay our hands to do. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for in Jesus' matchless name we have prayed. And the congregation of the people of God will say louder. Let somebody shout hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Please, we should not live here until we have been anointed. The anointing is going on at the teens church. But let's wait till the end of the service and be anointed. We ensure that we are anointed before we go home. Today by 5.30... There will be Holy Communion service here at the TOG. Holy Communion will start by 5.30 p.m. And all the, the Sisters of Grace ESCO should please meet with Mommy AGO, Mommy Odeshola, in our office immediately after service. The Missions Club. The missions club will hold a meeting immediately after service and members are required to attend this very, very crucial meeting. The meeting will take place at the conference hall behind here. And the following people are pleased that to see the AGO immediately after service. Pastor Kayo Deojo, the head of choir, Pastor Emmanuel Olayinka, Sister Kemi Akinterinwa, Pastor Ade Ononuga, Pastor Ayola E.D., Mommy Confidence Ibe, and Deacon Bimbo Adeshino. We are to see the AGO immediately after the service. Please over to the engineering department now for other announcements. Good morning, church. Happy Sunday to you. We want to say a very big thank you to our Father in the Lord, Pastor E.A. Adeboye, for being a blessing to us today. And we pray that your own blessing will be permanent in Jesus' name. And at the end of it all, you will finish well and reign with Christ in the name of Jesus. Listen to TOG News. I am Bukola Chugeke. And my name is Olayemiga New. Join our morning prayer meeting here at TOG or at any associate parish close to your house. The time is 6 a.m. to 7 a.m. Join us for Bible study. Tap, dig in deep. A time where we go into God's word and bring out the hidden treasures in his word. The time remains, 6 p.m. Ministering is Pastor J.M. Odeshola. There will be delivering service here on Tuesday. The time is 9 a.m. Ministering our anointed men of God. Still to come on Tuesdays, our lunch hour breakthrough service. The time is 12 noon. Ministering is Pastor J.F. Odeshola. Those who seek the Lord holy shall surely find him. Join our Holy Seekers prayer meeting here on Wednesday. The time is 5.30 a.m. 
ministering anointed men of God. Faith Clinic comes up on Thursday. The time is 6 p.m. Ministering anointed men of God. Join us on Sunday for another time in God's presence. The time remains 7.30 a.m. You can watch our services live on the internet on www.rccgnhq.org or youtube.com forward slash rccg national headquarters. You can also listen to us on the radio on www.liveway.fm. And for our online viewers and listeners who are willing to pay their tithe offering and special donation online, go to www.rccgnhq.org. Click on online giving, enter your personal data, and follow the procedure. You can also make a direct transfer to our GT account displayed on the screen. Hooray! It's another Christmas. The Junior Church invites us to celebrate with them in the grand style this year. Date is the 17th of December 2016. Venue is the Throne of Grace Church Ground. Ticket is just 1,000 Naira only. Get your room now for limited ticket is available. Are you yet to be baptized by immersion? Join our baptismal class immediately after the service at the gallery. You can still make use of our QS terminals for the payment of your tithe, offering, and special donation. For more information, see the ushers. And if you're paying any of this with a check, Please write your name and phone number at the back of the check. As you live in the church premises, don't forget to drop by at the TOG Cafe for snacks and lots of drinks. I promise you'll be refreshed. There is great increase in the church again. Last week, God blessed us with... that these children will be useful to the church of God, to this nation, Nigeria, and to their generation at large. And for the expectant mothers, the Lord will open the book of remembrance unto you, and you will carry your own Samuel in Jesus' name. You can download today's sermon and other sermons immediately after the service. Just log on to www.rccgsermons.org and follow the procedures. Do send in your comments, prayer requests, or testimony to any of our social media platform or to the parish office. We'd love to hear from you. That's all from us, from TOG News. Glad to have you here today. See you again next week. Come in with your own testimony. You will surely testify in Jesus' name. For emphasis, Sisters of Grace Esco and advisors are to meet Mommy AGO immediately after service in our office. And please, if today is your second time worshiping with us at the TOG, we want to meet with you, we want to pray with you. Please come. You are not a first timer, but you are coming a second time. Please quickly come to the altar. We want to pray with you. And as they come, let's clap for Jesus. You're coming not for the first time. They're coming for the second time. Let's clap for Jesus as they come. The soonest they will become members, full members. You're welcome. You're welcome. God bless you. No, you don't need to kneel down. You can rise up as well. Yeah, you can rise up. Let's clap. They are still coming. So many of them. Let's clap for Jesus as they come. God bless you. God bless you. Wow. Wow. Congregation, let's stretch our hands to them and pray for them. That God Almighty will bless them. He will remain gracious unto them. He will look down from heaven and favor them. And everything they do they will forever find favor with the Almighty God in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. I have somebody to take you to the hospitality lounge. Please go with them.
and um, they'll tell you a few more things about the church. You are no longer first timers. By the special grace of God, this is your father's house, and you will remain a member of the household of God. Please go with our pastor as you can turn to your left. Let's clap for Jesus as they go with him. Let's clap for Jesus. God bless you. Praise the Lord. We are getting close to the end of the service. And uh, our closing aim is aim 359. It's on page 168. The choir will lead us as we take the closing hymn.
Amen. As we have declared in these words of those songs, the Lord will do unto us in Jesus' mighty name. And as we go into this week, the good Lord will bless you. He will keep you. He will make his face to shine upon you. He will be gracious unto you. He will lift his countenance upon you. And he shall give you peace. This week as you go into it, he shall answer unto you in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' mighty name we are prayed. Amen. Let us share the grace. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, God's goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the presence of the Lord forever and ever. Love yourself as you love your neighbor. Let us prophesy into the life of our neighbors. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow you all the days of your life. Praise the Lord.